Hello everyone. Happy December 1st. I am in my living room and I have my advent calendar right here. And so this year I did not uh, buy um, a special urine advent calendar, mostly because they are really, really expensive. Um, but then, you know, as everyone started receiving their advent calendars, I was like, hmm, perhaps I could do something else. So I actually went here on YouTube to ask if uh, some other people here in the Netherlands uh, wanted to do a swap event. So a swap advent calendar. And some people replied and I, uh, I made a couple groups of three people each and so basically each person makes 24 packages and if you're in a group of three you send 12 packages to each of the other two uh, so that you know everyone in each group gets 24 packages in total and these are the lovely packages that i got and i was blown away <laughs> and i'm really really excited to open the first one so i'm just going to grab the first one And it has a little doggy on it, and it says 75% uh, wool, 25% polyamide, because we agreed to do uh, like a sock yarn swap. So it doesn't have to be hand dyed, it can be as simple or as fancy as you want. Um, but we did kind of agree on doing a sock yarn swap so that, you know, because I think it's the most versatile. So anyway, let's see. There's more in here. What? <laughs> There's my mini. <laughs> and I got some smarties. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love blue. Um, I think I'm going to wait a couple days because obviously none of these match because they're just from our stash and, you know, I, um, I've been sent these packages from two other people, so they won't match at all. So, um, so I can't make a sweater like I did last year, or I could, but, um, I think I'm gonna wait a couple days and see, um, so I can make the most fun project with this, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> So in this first kind of advent vlog, I'm not calling it, well, maybe, maybe I, I can call it vlogmas, but I won't be doing a video every day because I can't keep up. Um, I thought it would be fun to go over some advent projects. So things that you can do with your advent calendar or maybe minis that you have in your stash or, you know, any scrap yarn. Um, so last year I did get an advent calendar and I was able, because it was a fade advent, I was able to make this amazing project with it. Um, the yarn is by Wolmet Verve, a Dutch indie dyer, Sylvia. And she dyes amazing yarn and her advent calendar was 24 colors that faded into each other. So these are all 24 colors and actually it's a circular fade, which means that the very last color um, connects to the very first one again. So you could basically start anywhere you wanted in the fade, but uh, I didn't know that yet at the start. So. Um, so this was my day one mini, and then right at the end, you see the day 24 mini. And the pattern, you can see right there, that has some beautiful twisted stitches. Uh, the pattern is the Spectre Sweater by Hohi Locatelli. And it's a beautiful, um, just a beautiful pattern. Um, you knit most of it inside out, so you knit more knit stitches than purl stitches but on the outside it's that lovely purl I just that reverse stockinette I just love it um, the original pattern is not written for 24 minutes it's written for four 
fade colors, I think. Um, so I had to modify that quite a bit. Um, so that is one idea that you can do, but obviously you would need an advent calendar that really fades into each other to be able to do that. Um, and so I have loads of ideas for you, um, what you can do with your advent calendar. And the second idea is to knit scrappy socks, which I am doing right now with my own hand dyed minis. So I had some hand dyed minis, or I had hand dyed yarn left, um, cause I'm not really selling it anymore. I'm not really dying anymore. Uh, but I had some yarn left and I thought, well, why not pick a couple colors and make a nice mini set? So let me actually show you because I have some left in stock. Here are the mini skein sets. I have three left. Um, so they are still in my web shop at newleafdesigns.nl slash shop. Um, and they have seven, well, eight minis, but one is like a really fun, thick and thin wool that you can use for like weaving or punch needle or uh, wrapping gifts. Like it's a really nice ribbon. And the other seven are perfect for socks. So, um, uh, and they are all naturally dyed. Uh, so they're in the shop right now. I only have it set up for Europe shipping. So if you're outside of Europe, um, it will take much longer to get to you. But um, if you're outside of Europe and you would like a set, just um, give me an email at hello at newleafdesigns.nl and I'll see. Um, you know, I can figure it out, but it's just uh, quite a hassle. <laughs> But I am uh, uh, I am more than happy to to do that. Um, so I am knitting my advent socks. I'm knitting two at a time just to try out the technique. But you can also knit them just one at a time. Uh, and I'm using just um, a few grams for each stripe. So you can do scrappy socks. I also have a pattern for that, and that pattern is also included with mini skein set. Uh, you can do my rainbow blanket, you know, I have loads of blanket that use many, many colors. And of course, you will need more than just one advent calendar to make a, uh, a blanket because it is quite a big project. Um, but maybe if you have some minis or maybe um, you have some full sized skeins and you can use the full uh, skeins for once every 10 rows or something like that, I have the Shiv Rainbow Blanket, which is one of my most popular patterns. It's a free pattern on my blog. Um, I also have the Rainbow Seaways Blanket, which is also a free blanket. <laughs> A free blanket, a free pattern uh, on my blog. I also have paid PDFs in my shop if you would like an easy printable and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's both free and paid, so you get to pick what um, what is best for you. Uh, I also have the Next Step blanket, which is also free, and also there's a paid option in my shop. Um, and those are just really, really fun to do. They're all crochet, but um, I really like crochet for blankets. Um, you could also do a simple granny stripe bl blanket. Um, there are loads of fun blanket patterns and advent minis are perfect for that. Um, if you would like to knit, well, I have some, some more knitting and crochet ideas, but uh, if you would like to knit, there is the Advent 2020 sweater. So this is a pattern by uh, Helene's Knit House. So she's a Dutch uh, designer and she actually designed this pattern to go with the advent calendar from Walmart Fair that I purchased last year. Um, so that's why it's called Advent 2020. But uh, the sweater is just really, really fun. Uh, so there are stripes of color. I'm just looking at the, the pictures on my laptop. There are stripes of color and then some eyelid rows in between. And it's really, really fun. Um, and you can uh, buy it uh, as a single pattern or as part of an ebook. 
um, because she has some more Advent patterns. I think there is a cowl in there and uh, a hat pattern. It's really fun. I'll put all of the links uh, down below. Uh, then there are two beautiful sock patterns by Natalie Sheldon. I think she is Remembrances Pottery on Instagram. Um, she has Advent socks 2019 and 2020. Um, and these are just stunning. It's just like patterns like these almost make me mad <laughs> because they are so beautiful and I, I wish I would have had the idea myself so yes I'm a little bit jealous and I know I shouldn't be but um yes yeah, so they are amazing and they are free downloads um so you can get them and knit your advent minis into some super cute socks and just note that um you know these are color work socks they might not work for all advent minis or all you know yarn because uh you want to make sure that there is enough contrast um and if you would like to learn about what kind of, you know, how much contrast you need for color work um, and how to knit color work, then I have a master class on that on my Patreon page. Uh, so that's patreon.com slash newleafdesigns. I also have the, um, the color work master class as a separate master class if you just like to buy that one. But uh, I can highly, highly recommend to uh, subscribe to my Patreon page because there's loads more on there. So, so have a look. Uh, but yes, these are two beautiful, beautiful patterns by Natalie Sheldon. Um, so those are knitting patterns. I also found this beautiful crochet pattern, which is called the Fairbanks Advent Shawl that was published last year by Tony from TL Yarn Crafts. Um, uh, she has done several versions. The one I have on the screen right now is a super bright and colorful version, and you can see that it works for many, many types of yarn, because you can see variegated yarn in here, uh, speckled yarn, solid yarn and she also has a version with more uh like earthy tones uh so you can you can see you you can check your stash and see if you have lots of colors that go together or lots of fun colors like uh like the one that i'm showing on that i'm showing on the screen um and this oh this is actually for dk weight oh no she she uh she wrote the pattern for DK weight and fingering weight because um, most most advent calendars are all uh, fingering weight yarn uh, so around 400 meters per 100 grams um, yeah so that's also for purchase on uh, on Ravelry and then I have another knit option and this blew me away this is <laughs> Again, I wish I had come up with this. So here is the Advent Shawl by Maria G. Knits. And it is just stunning. It is too gorgeous. Like, stop. <laughs> just stop. Um, so it uses many, many different colors. And uh, it seems as if it's really designed for Advent yarn because it's called Advent Shawl. Um, one color for each Advent day, 25 colors. So yeah, uh, even though a lot of of the uh, stripes look like they're very wide and perhaps use more than 10 grams, uh, maybe not. <laughs> like it seems like it just um, uses 25 mini skeins. So that just looks amazing. Um, so the border looks like it's knit um, sideways and you have several parts uh, so I see it's divided in several colors so um, because I don't think you would have enough for one mini skein to make the whole uh, border so yeah that is also a beautiful beautiful pattern and then lastly I want to share a pattern by the possibly the queen of advent patterns Helen Stewart from Curie's Handmade she has the habitation throw and uh, it's 
it's a very simple pattern but very 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 beautiful um, uh, and it's it uses 24 minis so it says knit it using the 24 minis from your yarn advent calendar or make it from your stash or scraps knitting in all the memories of projects past um, and it's designed for fingering weight yarn uh, it has a i-cord edging all the way around uh, garter stitch so you start in one corner and then just knit 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 knit, knit until the widest point and then um, and then you decrease again um, so it is very customizable for any amount of yarn that you have so if you have minis that are perhaps 20 grams or 15 grams you know usually they're 10 grams but if you have a different amount you can just stop at the midway point of your yarn you can weigh all of your yarn and then at the midway point you can start decreasing so it is uh, an amazing pattern and she has loads more uh, advent, you know, suitable for advent yarn um, patterns. That was not a good sentence. Um, because she also does knit vent. So that is actually kind of an advent, you know, pattern calendar. Um, yeah, just check her out. I'm, again, I'm so jealous. <laughs> There, this is she is one of the pattern designers that I don't follow anymore on Instagram because it just overwhelms me. Uh, like Andrea Maori, uh, it's it's too much. <laughs> I see it just as a pattern designer. So, this is a slight tangent as a pattern designer. If I follow all of those wonderful designers and then see pattern after pattern after pattern, it just, um, you know, it ups the pressure and it can get quite a lot. Um, yeah. And also there's the fear of subconsciously copying stuff, which I really don't want. Um, but um, yeah, so I've unfollowed or muted some uh, designers on Instagram because sometimes it just gets too overwhelming and uh, I want to be kind to myself and <laughs> also let my inspiration and creativity flow from myself instead of um, other people. But yeah, so these are some uh, advent projects that you could do. Whether you have an advent calendar or not, you could do it with any yarn. Um, lovely scrappy projects uh, and I will link all of them below uh, please do note that I will link the Ravelry links if you uh, cannot um, access Ravelry then please just um, google the pattern and designer name and perhaps they will also sell uh, the pattern on another platform um, yeah, so I think that is it for this video. Um, I don't want to make them too long. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this and I wish you loads of fun in December, uh, the holiday season with your festive yard advent calendar or maybe you have a chocolate advent calendar or Lego or beer or whatever. Um, yeah, I just hope you have a lovely time this festive season and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!